actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the trending contracts. And today's contract, Sins of the Father, set in Sapienza. And the contract ID is on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a go at it and has been supplied to us today, courtesy of J. McFly423. So on to our briefing, short and sweet, kill all the sinners. And speaking of targets or sinners, uh, we have five of them today. All must be eliminated whilst disguised as the priest, but we can eliminate them anyway we see fit. So for today's challenge, we'll be starting at the default location. We're going to have a sniping rifle stored up in the sewers. We're going to be bringing with us a Seeker 1, our ever trusty lockpick, and a remote egmatic gas grenade in a briefcase. So, right from the start and off the bat, we need to do a small amount of setup before we begin. So we need to uh, remove a non-target from an area. And that non-target is up in this tower. So what we're going to do is make our way around to where the crash is. Uh, we can throw our briefcase into the tower stairwell and that should get the attention of our uh, non-target guard at the top of the tower. Uh, it, it could be random, you might get your target, it's best that uh, the non-target guard, the one we're actually after here, is furthest away from you and the target guard will send him and when he comes down, he will find the briefcase and he will move to take it out of the tower. And at that point, we can pounce on him from around the corner, render him unconscious and hide him in the crate. So then we're just going to retrieve our briefcase and we can now move on. So what we're going to do is uh, exit the tower the same way we came in by firstly throwing our briefcase ahead of us. That will get the attention of someone. So we do need to get out of the window and off of the tower as quickly as possible to retrieve our briefcase, yeah, there yeah, it is. Yeah. And then we can make our way straight down to the harbor area. And we're gonna head down into the sewers and get the priest outfit. So all the way down, the main road here straight down to the beach we're going to pass the harlequin on our left we'll get to him a little bit later on we're going to make our way into the sewers while we're in here we're going to retrieve the gas grenade from our briefcase replace it in our briefcase and then we're going to lock pick our way into the sewers now do be aware that mario is around and is actually approaching at this point so we are going to unlock the door and then move away a safe distance. And once Mario gets bored at looking for mushrooms, uh, he will wander off and hopefully away from us, which he's doing. And that leaves us free to go into the sewers and we're going to replace our gas grenade briefcase with our sniping rifle briefcase. So we'll leave the gas grenade there for now, we'll come back for that later. And we're going to make our way now into the crypt using our lockpick. And we're going to retrieve the priest outfit from the priest cell. While we're there we may as well, and it will be actually beneficial, to take out the surveillance system. There is one rather nasty camera that we will have trouble avoiding. So once we're into the priest cell, we can take the outfit and remove the surveillance system. And then from here, we're going to make our way up the church tower to the very tippy top. Uh, just be aware there are enforcers around. 
so we're just going to have a quick check none of them are present at the moment so we can make our way straight up the tower right to the very top it's a long long way i'm getting quite dizzy but eventually we see open air once again and once we're up the top here we can then retrieve our sniping rifle and if we look over at the sapienza ruins tower we will encounter our first target he is alone so we can eliminate him we want to try and hit him very low we don't want him to go off the tower's edge which unfortunately we have done so it's 50 50 whether he will be spotted or not our next target is on the other tower and this is the tower where we've already removed his colleague now we can hit him pretty much anywhere uh, he won't go over the edge so once we've taken out those two targets we can drop our sniping rifle we're gonna head over the edge of the banister and use the drain pipe making sure there are no enforcers nearby on our way down and we can now make our way back down into the crypt and we're gonna go through the sewers once again and retrieve our other briefcase and once again we are going to have to wait for Mario uh, he's currently just at the other gate to the sewer so when he turns around and wanders off hopefully back up the tunnel somewhere we can make our way into the sewers and retrieve our briefcase where are you going Mario? Uh, you're going the wrong way that's the way I want to go that is exactly the way I want to go don't stop, don't stop, don't ah, he stopped so we're just going to wait for Mario to finish up once again looking for Princess Peach and she's not down here I guarantee it mate this is the wrong castle so once he wanders off finally we can make our way through and past him walking nice and casual right like we belong here and we're going to pick up our briefcase and make our way up through the door to our right and this should bring us back up to street level and right next to our next target uh, she is outside playing with her phone i believe so we're just going to open the door throw our briefcase on the floor and that will get her attention just be aware that people do walk past so try and time your throw when no one else is around and when she comes in to investigate we can then quickly render her unconscious snap her neck now there is someone coming down the stairs and they've heard that snap uh, that neck break so we do need to very quickly remove the target down the stairs back to the sewers here should be far enough so we need to get back upstairs quickly, retrieve our briefcase and there is the gentleman in question coming to investigate uh, but luckily enough we are all cleared up and away so next up will be the Harlequin and we're just going to mosey right on up to him select our detonator for our gas grenade trigger the gas grenade and then make our way into the house on the corner here where he will come to be sick even though there's a perfectly good bathroom just uh, on the opposite side of the beach and there's also a portaloo before that but for some reason this guy still seems to prefer to vomit his breakfast into a bin rather than something easily cleaned and less smelly so once he comes in we can pounce on him we can snap his neck there's no one around to hear that one so we can uh, get away with that but we are still going to hide the body halfway up the stairs so that when we exit the area no one spots the body through the door so four targets down one more to go and our final target is a bodyguard underneath the uh, uh, pavilion I forgot what you call it promenade that's the word I was thinking of and he is on guard around here now unfortunately we don't have a propane cylinder handy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that tourist go past 
and then shoot the target in the back with a seeker one dart and he will make his way to a bathroom and we're just gonna wait in here for his arrival uh, he's basically gonna head through the door just behind us uh, it is 50 50 which way he will go um, he does tend to lean ever so slightly more to this way but eventually he will make his way into the bathroom cubicle and all we have to do is follow him in close the door and reintroduce him to whatever he ate last so that is our final target taken care of so all that's left for us to do is to leave our briefcase behind we don't need that and head for the nearest exit which in this instance will be the speedboat exit in the harbour so we're just gonna scoot straight across the beach down the pier and into our waiting boat so there we go one more trending contract taken care of uh, quite an enjoyable one as we get to use the sniping rifle without any real consequences and we have confirmation all of our targets have been eliminated according to plan and we get our silent assassin rating i have been anubis and i will see you all in the next video